bragging. Trump just did it to Alabama player. Hell yeah. Just when college football had almost made it through an entire season without stooping to the disrespectful level of their professional counterparts in the NFL, one of the star players for Alabama ran onto the field shouting FCK Trump to the president who was there to watch him play. It's an honor to have the commander-in-chief there to watch and congratulate the winner, but for Bo Scarbrow, he took it as an opportunity to prove himself as a loser. He paid a dear price for that less than 24 hours after hurling the sickening statement at Trump who was on the field when the running back said it. President Donald Trump was greeted by a booming chorus of cheers mixed with a few boos, according to liberals, as he took the field Monday for the singing of our nation's national anthem ahead of the college football title game between Georgia and Alabama. In the roaring thunder of Roll Tide Alabama's running back shouted his hate for the president with a very audible F.C.K. Trump as he headed out onto the field where the president stood. Of course, Trump heard it just like every fan and spectator did last night and it didn't take long for karma to catch up to him, delivering a presidential-sized dose of reality. He had it coming. We have Barack Hussein Obama to thank for ingraining this divisive mentality in Americans and deepening the racial divide to a point that disrespectful antics like what racist Alabama player Bo Scarbrow felt entitled to say. Jeff Rainforth broke the story for Freedom Daily Monday night, moments after nasty words flew out of the RB's mouth. President Trump showed up to the game, being the avid sports fan he is. Not to mention, He's a major fan of our country and our national anthem. Trump proudly walked onto the field with members of our armed forces to solemnly observe the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Not everyone was proud of our country and our anthem, though. While the entire stadium was grateful that President Trump showed up despite his busy schedule, one Alabama player wasn't, and he, surely inspired by Obama's racist dividing of our country let Trump know how he really felt about him and all that he's done for us. As Alabama's team was walking onto the field via the stadium tunnel, running back Bo Scarbrow let his racist ignorance shine through. In what should have been a moment that all Americans could enjoy as the top two college football teams entered into battle for the national championship, Scarbrow decided to ruin it for all of us with a Copernic moment. He literally told Trump to FCK off. While we'd expect this from students at, say, UC Berkeley, or, Stanford, we certainly don't expect it from those at the University of Alabama. Alabama is a bastion of conservatism and voted solidly for Trump in the election. Was Scarbrow influenced by Obama's anti-white-slash-anti-America rhetoric? It's clear that Scarborough had zero regard for the president or his fans and completely ignored the unprecedented fallout that the NFL suffered this season because of disgusting Copernic kind of antics exactly like this. Just the same as his pro-baller counterparts found out, Scarborough quickly learned the same lesson after pissing off some of the most loyal Alabama fans who bleed red and respond with roll tide to everything, except for this player's sentiment. As soon as the story hit the internet, it didn't matter that Alabama had won the big game. Their player was a loser and he suffered the consequences for what he said. While there were some congratulations, most the talk soured by Scarbrow's decision since fans shared their real feelings about mixing crap like that into the sport. The comments section on seemingly every post about the win were riddled with disappointed fans who felt that what the RB did was in extremely poor taste. In a backhanded way meant Trump got revenge on Scarborough for saying that since more people showed support for the president than they did for the player of the victorious team. When this team visits the president he should not be allowed to go to visit the president. I feel that both those guys number 9 and 45 should stay home with their mamas, one comment read. How dare you dot 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 you are disgraced to the college football league, but you will fit and well in the NFL. I hope one day this will come and bite you in the butt," another angry fan wrote. It's players like him that cause all the racial problems in our country. A disgrace to Dr. King's dream, another comment read. There were a lot more where these comments came from, but the overwhelming reaction was that Alabama was losing more fans than gaining, despite their incredible win in overtime. Scarbrow didn't just ruin it for himself. He took the glory of the win away from the rest of the team who work hard and are respectful and appreciated the president being there to support them. Them.